Hey, what's going on guys? I am back with another book review. Um, this one's a really cool one. It is Sculpting a Galaxy. Um, this one's by Lauren Peterson. Um, he was the like director of ILM um, for the, the Star Wars films and a uh, pretty important guy for making Star Wars what it is. So, um, interesting book in that it is focused on more of like his work, which is a lot more um, ships. You know, like the X-Wing, the Millennium Falcon, Slave One, Star Destroyers, you know, etc., etc., etc. This book um, was pretty commonly available, but I just checked Amazon and eBay, and there's not a lot of copies for sale right now, um, and they're kind of pricey. Uh, they, I, I'd typically seen this book used for like $30, which is probably what I paid for it. Um, not that long ago, like, I haven't had this for a year, maybe six months, and, uh, but now, like, it looks like all the copies are, like, a hundred bucks, maybe more, so, uh, both, both on Amazon and eBay. I will have links to those, um, on the description below, uh, there'll be affiliate links, I get a tiny kickback, it doesn't cost you anything to click on those, it does help me a little bit, I literally make pennies, I mean, I make... I say that as a, as a joke, but it's totally serious. <laughs> Pennies. Um, this book is really good, though. If you are a model maker, I feel like this is probably one of the best reference books you can get. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best one, but it's probably number two. And I'll cover the, the best one here in, a, in another video. But... Um, Definitely, I think, worth getting, and if the price is shooting up on it, you might look at getting it real soon, um, because these out-of-print books, you know, they start getting expensive, you know, real quick. So, uh, I didn't realize it was out-of-print. I thought it was still in print, but I'm going to review it anyway, because it is definitely worth going over. So, let me show you um, what's on the inside. Okay, we've got the front cover here. Um, nice picture of the Millennium Falcon. Here's the spine, and here's the back. Now he, this isn't just original trilogy stuff, it's also going to be um, some prequel stuff, because he did also work on the prequels. And it's going to have some, uh, you know, a little bit, I don't say obscure stuff, but it's going to have some detail that you don't get out of certain other books that have ships as well. Um, just going to start bouncing through. There's some, uh, one thing I want to point out is the detail you're going to get out of this. You're not going to see, you're not going to see every single detail, like they don't give you every single view um, from multiple angles and everything. But you're going to get a good sense of what level of detail the, the ships have. And you can, you know, distill the design language for each ship, you know. So if there's, you know, the Millennium Falcon, it has a certain design language, you know, the colors and, you know, where they used and how they weathered it and everything like that. You'll be able to see it close enough that you'll be like, oh, I can apply this same theory to everything else. And let me get to some of these details. So we got a Star Destroyer. And... Well, it's brilliant, you know, looking at the whole thing. This does have some good close-up detail shots. I mean, the book's got pretty good photos in it. Um, good, clear, big ones, you know. So that's something you don't get out of a lot of other books. Really, there's only one other book I can think of that has that kind of detail. Um, you know, here's the bay. You know, here's the tractor um the tractor beam array or whatever it's called but one thing i want to point out is like what i was talking about like the design language and everything like that is it's kind of hard to pick up on camera but you see all these little spots you know these these lines and you know slightly off color pieces you know like this is darker than that and then you know it's got some light lines around it and uh, there's all these little cutouts these little greeblies these little you know, punch outs and stuff like that, um, you know, 
right up here, this, you know, it's darker, but it's also got a line around it, you know, and, um, you know, whereas this one, this little spot is a little bit warmer and this one's a little bit cooler, you know, so you kind of get to see the palette of colors you need to have, you know, these might not even be scribed in these little lines. They might just be drawn on with a pencil, you know, cause they did that. So that's the kind of like what I was talking about for design, design language for a ship, you know, um, you know, I mean, just some amazing photos. My tribot's actually in the way from just, you're, you're getting some detail that I've not seen in other books that uh, I feel like is pretty important. Now this is really cool, but it's a little bit confusing. So you have this, you know, multi-page thing here of the Millennium Falcon um, and you open it up and it's, you know, more Millennium Falcon. It's like a double, this side is, it's so big. <laughs> and then on the other side, it's this. Um, so what's confusing about it, um, if you're not familiar with the Millennium Falcon, you know, there's multiple sizes of the Millennium Falcon, which I feel like they demonstrate here. That's the big five foot model that we refer to. And then there's a little tiny one in his palm of his hand. They're demonstrating the size differences. But you would think that by just, if you didn't know that this is all the same model, like these four photos are all the same photo. They're all of the big, you know, five footer. But the, this one on this side, this is the three foot model. And the easy, the easiest indicator of that I can tell is that the decal isn't right here on the cockpit. You know, just first glance, my eyes always go there. That's the three foot. That's the five foot. There's a little decal that goes there. So, you know, it, they do have labels, but they are small and they kind of blend in and they can be a little hard to see, especially when it's, you know, right there, you know, it just doesn't stand out so there's a, a few things that I would change about it you know in that regard I would make things stand out but um, I think that's an even different size I think that's about like a an 8 inch model if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong about that um, but they have a lot you know a ton of stuff in here TIE fighters actually I want to get to um, you know I got X wings and Y wings this is what I was looking for great thing about this is you can see here there's like a dark red then there's like a pink and then there's the cream color and it's not like blurry it's it's you can distinctly make out each you know each color each it's got its own area you know just like here on the hole you have like a there's a, almost a white right there and then it's a little bit more warm right in here and then there's a slightly darker green and then there's this dark green here and then there's this dark green and you know you can pick out the detail pretty well in this book and then you know up on this spot I'm having difficulty <laughs> holding the book but you can see all the like the weathering all the chipping and you know it's amazing to see the detail in these models and if you're gonna build a model like this is pretty handy and I feel like it's it's way less expensive than um, the the Chronicles book that is for vehicles which is you know really really expensive um, medical frigate I mean holy cow you know so yeah so I wish I would have had this when I was building my a-wing model I was working off of uh, some other reference photos that I had that were on my computer, but they were pretty small. I couldn't see the details, so so I actually have my A-wing model right here. I feel like I did all right. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go through the whole book, but just know that there are, you know, prequel stuff. Not a ton of it, but there is some, you know. Um, they there are like a few droids in here. Um, you know, here's some prequel ships, um, the Naboo ships. 
but they have you know sand crawler which i mean come on that's so cool <laughs> i mean it's one thing to see these vintage photos but to get a like nice you know good clear modern photo um is really really nice just it's just really you know got a lot of stuff in it i would say it's pretty dense um it's a lot of big fold outs you know just all kinds of oh yeah this the slug is in here there's some other critters in here and this isn't all like lauren peterson doing all this stuff you know um there's there's you know um several other people that their works are accredited in here you know and, and but it's you know he was overseeing the whole department so he you know he gets to put his name on that as well because you know he had a lot of input <laughs> um yeah and then there's like some of the environments like some of the bigger set pieces you know the bigatures or whatever you call it you know like prickles actually had like quite a few like big physical sets you know so actually i do want to look at this you know the famous trench run you know that's just it's just epic you know anyways i'm just gonna flip through this real fast geonosis kashik which you don't hardly see at all but they built all that for <laughs> you know it's it's pretty crazy all right, so that's it for Sculpting a Galaxy. Uh, it's a very good book to pick up if you're into building models or you just want to, you know, read it. Um, it's, I think, impressive the level of detail these models have. And, you know, I got into the hobby building models and then switched over to building, like, you know, lightsabers and blasters later. Like, actually, it's like the second thing I did was build... Uh, a, you know, a lightsaber, but um, I started off with building an X-Wing. That's how I got to the RPF. Um, anyway, um, I would definitely pick this book up if you're a, a model maker and you don't have it. Um, the only thing that, you know, I would say, if you already have the Chronicles Vehicles book, you probably don't care about this as much. Um, I doubt that there's going to be anything in this that the Chronicles book isn't going to have. And one thing about this is it's still available. You can, I don't want to say available, like they're not printing it anymore, but you can still find them for sale. Um, apparently they're gone up in price since the last time I looked and I got mine um, because it looks like they're like a hundred bucks a pop right now. So uh, yeah, just uh Keep your eyes open. You might be able to find a used copy for cheap. I mean, they're probably all going to be used at this point. Anyway, so that's going to be it. Um, click on the link down below. Again, it's an affiliate link. Helps me out a little bit. Um, and uh, hit up my blog, propchopshop.com. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments. Um, I will have a link um, to the blog uh, in, in the comments, not in the comments, in the description just like the affiliate link will be in the description. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.